Okay, a little transition here. Just explaining what's going on. Mackie's kind of a iffy guy. Hmm, being paranoid. Okay, but we need a plan, so yeah. Get to the next level. All right, so we're down here, back where Mackie said the jailhouse was. This is the fourth level jailbreak, and we need to be careful here because you can get seen through that fence. It won't budge. Can't go back to this door. The only way out is really up this fire escape here. But if we do so too quickly, the person who's over there will see us. So we need to actually crouch and go up the ladder. I know it seems strange to do that, but... Oh, there you go. You can see him. You need to be pretty careful around here. There's not very many save points and things like that. So after that happens, ropes will walk back up. We want to follow him because there's a little exchange at the end. Hmm. Another one of those visions. What that means? Look up there on the roof. It's an easy thing to miss, but that is actually what was watching us just then. You see it? It's a little easier to see in sneak mode. You got anything to report? Nope. We should be out there, Nathan, helping with the hut. You have your orders. We'll stay with the sacrifices. They'll yield us much favor with the order. I uh dig up. The chief's always up there napping. But why ain't he out here with us? His time draws nigh. Martin can't cut his eyes properly no more. He'll take the water. Then it'll be me taking charge around here, and things will be got different. Now get inside and mind that you don't forget to bolt the door. If we're not sneaking or we're too close. These guys will see us, so gotta be careful. Uh, that guy was looking down at the alley, or the street in front of this alley. If you go in there, there's guys patrolling. Let me see. Birch. A crowbar. That could come in handy. Birch went out that way. So this is our first weapon, the crowbar. Half-Life, anyone? No. You just kind of hit dudes with it. It's not very good, but it is pretty crucial for this next part. There's a crazy inmate over there. You can hear him talking from time to time. Back here would be a great hiding spot. He's talking about back here. I don't know why he did that. The door is bolted shut. So as you can see, he took his superior's advice. Be gone. I, uh, I draw. Crazy inmate over there will talk about various things now and then. So let's take a look in the windows here. Who's there? I can mm -hmm. hear you. Oh. I'm a private detective. My name's Jack Walters. I'm looking for Burnham. Look, fella, I'm Burnham. What the hell is it you want? Why did you knock off the First National and the Variety Store? What? I'm the manager of First National. Why the blazes would I rob my own store? They haven't even charged me with anything. Look, just clear off before you get me in trouble. If Garrison spots you, he'll scream this joint down. Garrison? Yeah, Henry Garrison. He's the crazy fella in the next cell. Whenever he throws a fit, one of Mark's mom are all over this alley like a rash. Especially tonight. They seem incredibly twitchy. Much more than usual. Hmm. Well, we know why they're, uh, twitchy. If we go on... That's a reference to another Lovecraft story. The rats in the walls, appropriately enough. What is it you said about this Henry Garrison? 
Just that he's off his nut. If he lays eyes on you, he'll likely throw a fit. You'd think the ugly lugs in the front office would have learned to ignore it. But they come and check outside every time. I will not do as you ask. Stop me. slaughtering me, Never. Jack! I will not consort with the abominations! Consort with the abominations, huh? Let's sneak past his window for now. What we're supposed to do is to, uh... Agitate. Uh, I see your eyes at the window. Hiding in the blackness. Looks like you saw us. <laughs> Tries to grab us there. If we stick at the window, um... Ropes will see us. Something outside must have sent him crazy. I suppose I'd better check it out. Just so we get in the door. We can agitate him to get the ropes out here. We sneak up. You hear that? Hit him a couple times. That's kind of silly that they don't react when you hit him the first time. But with the slow kind of Henry. attack speed. Henry. It's kind of understandable. It, it makes more sense later with the other weapons that no, kill faster. No, I Dagon, I, I Batong, Batong. In that cell, you can see there's a book, but obviously the cells are locked, so we can't get in. Let's go talk to Brian. They're gonna find you, Jack. And the order shows no mercy. Could go out through that door, or actually, you can go out around and through and in through the front door. But there's a guy sitting at the desk there. The call inside me. It draws me to the dark ocean. I dream of Dagon, of Hydra. What is he I, uh, really doing, I, uh, with Jack? Kathula Fatang. Brian, where do they keep the keys? Why should I trust you? What? In case you hadn't noticed it, fella. You're in a bit of a jam here. It could be a trap. He's right. Are you crazy? Stop bothering me. He does look kind of messed up. Why should I trust you? So we have something here that uh, maybe will make him trust us a little bit better. We'll hit him with the crowbar. No, the Who's killing him gave me this. What? This is the photograph I gave her before. before. Oh, damn. I've been so foolish. I am sorry. If Ruth trusts you, Jack, then so do I. Where are the keys to the cells? They'll be upstairs with Andrew Martin, the chief constable. He's usually asleep or in the bath around this time. His skin's badly diseased from the Innsmouth taint. Keeping it wet seems to help his suffering. Okay. So... They heard us. Oops. Okay, so here's the keys right here. I'm gonna hide right here. It's a good thing he missed us. Those shotguns deal a lot of damage. But that was Andrew Martin. Um, they were talking about him not being able to shut his eyes very well. And how he was going to take to the water soon. How he spends a lot of time in a bath. Hmm. So I wonder what that means. But uh, we'll find out sooner or later. The sink is grimy. And there are traces of some sort of discolored membrane. Well, actually the game kind of spoiled it already. But uh, I won't spoil it any more than the game already has. Let's be careful here. Now, now that those guys are active, uh, we can go into that front room without worrying too much about messing things up. So here we have the bathroom area. And there's a health kit there, but our health kit is here full. So this is the bathtub you were speaking of. The bath is encrusted with filth, and there appears to be shreds of skin. After those sewers, I could sure use a bath. But getting in there won't make me any cleaner. That's right. So right there we can turn off 
this. The sink has been blocked up, leaving it full of scummy water. I... I'm not touching it. I think this is supposed to be an alternate way of getting, uh... What's his name down here? It won't budge. We can't go up there even with the keys. But it, uh, I believe that deactivates the sink in here. You see the wall pipe? And that'll draw him out of the room. If he wasn't alerted to your presence already. So now we have the cell keys. Let's look in this cell. It's locked. You recognize that? Let's not look at it too much. I'm gonna start freaking out and hit ourselves with the crowbar. Not like we couldn't see that anyway. This doll. It must be Ramona's. Remember that? Eh, taking the doll would be just too weird. In the walls. But rats, rats. It's in the walls. Didn't pick up the key. That'd be dumb. Okay. They're looking for us outside, but they're not gonna find us. Yeah, I didn't pick the key up. The keys to the cells. Now I can free Brian. Okay. We're not gonna do that yet. It wouldn't be a good idea. We're gonna open some of these other cells, though. It's unlocked. Messing with the alarm would be too risky. It's not what I wanted to do. So in here. It's Thomas Waits. Ramona's death must have driven him to cutting his own throat. Why they left him in there with a, with a straight razor is beyond me. Scratching. Scratching. Stop mocking me. Grubby little rat. He's crazy. I don't think it'd be the sharpest plan to let him out. So we don't let him out, but we do want that thing, so we have to figure out a way to get rid of him. I'll let burn him out. Not gonna do it yet. It's unlocked. Let's go in here. Pick this thing up. An old ship's log, marked with the name Obed Marsh. Why that's in here is anybody's business. Let's read it. Hmm. So we're going to Ch China. We stopped in Tahiti. Huh. Okay. So they found some ruins. City of Sea Gods. Hmm. Remember they were talking about the Wallakea guy. Rather, uh, yeah, Wallakea here. We were talking about um, how they got that stuff from the island. Uh, Zadok Island was. Small metal discs, huh? The thingamajig. Hmm. And this is all referencing the story. In which this happened too. Yep. And so they s did some stupid, crazy stuff. And apparently, the sea gods are real. Morning, the tide will rise. I know those from the reef will come to Innsmouth. Well, as the game has already hinted at from the third level, the attack of the fishmen. There are fishmen. We do so to avert a greater evil. Seems to think he was a hero in all this. I cannot, Cthulhu. I... It's unlocked. The garage on the main street holds an old automobile. It should be able to get us clear attack. Cthulhu for Should be able to? If we can just make it through the patrols. Lead the way, Jack. Quickly, we have to get away from the jail. All right. So we're supposed to go out this way. 
And you see that guy up there? Let's not mess with that. Instead, what we're gonna do. Hmm. What are we still doing here? See the light beam there. Hmm. There's some guns in this room that I'm trying to get to. It's fine. Grab this one. I want to see if I can shoot that guy. Deep in the abyss. We need to check the garage first. This is the, uh, the storage. Move. This is it. It's storage, not a garage. Damn it! They're not normally locked. We'll have to find another way in. Okay. W where to now, Jack? Let's go around here. We can get to a safe point. But the doors are locked. You won't be able to get in that way. Okay. Come on, Jack. We need to get off the streets. The streets have no cover, Jack. We'll get caught. So what we're supposed to do here. Let's be careful. Don't want to get caught. It's down that alley. There's another entrance in the sewers. But the problem is that we have Derp Face here with us. See down that alley over there. If you touch that car, Come by on, the way. Jack! We need to get off the streets! If you touch that car, by the way, it'll burn you. Okay, so we need to get rid of some stuff. I really shouldn't have let him out, but it's fine. Okay, let's shut this door. Some bullets. A police whistle. Hmm. Could prove useful. But here, I will not do as you ask. Quickly, we have a pistol and a shotgun at last. We pick up some guns. Get away from the jail. Shut up, Brian. The abomination. All kinds of miscellaneous notices. Okay. There's a safe. Safe behind that uh, thing right there. But if you walk up to it right now, you'll just say there's nothing interesting about it. Henry. Henry. The streets have no cover, Jack. We'll get caught. Shut up. So we have a shotgun and a pistol now. Not him. No. I take off. Freaking Garrison, man. Okay, there's an easier way of doing this. You don't have to be all gung-ho about it. You can... Come on, that. Jack! We need to get off the streets! You know what? You shut your damn face. Like he's being really helpful by doing shit like that. So we have this police was... <laughs> I won't take them. <sighs> I won't take them. Why are you going up there? We need to get outside. Burn the sacrifice! Shit. Oops. They spotted us. Run! Well, I got hit there. That's fine. Ooh. I got kind of messed up. Alright. The shotgun will usually kill most enemies. Too close. We've got to be more careful in one hit if you're close enough to them. Uh, apparently I just kind of hit him in the arm, but I, I managed to finish him off. Uh, kind of messed up too. So now we're just supposed to go over here. Lock tight. I can't get inside. Okay. I could have been... What the hell was that? From the mess, it looks like something or someone was killed here recently. All right. 
And this is actually required to have the crowbar to do this, otherwise you can't open this thing. Nice work, Jack. Come on, Jack. We need to get off the streets. That's what we're doing. Dick butt. Alright, so there's another safe point here. Not truly necessary. There's something wrong down here. Something very wrong. No, well, this is the source. Uh, this there. place is giving me the creeps. So here's a dead rat. The rotting corpse of a rat. I suppose it might come in useful. Adventure game logic. Nothing down that way. Move out of my way. Uh, Mr. Inconvenience there. Oh, the stench here is sickening. And it smacks of more than just sewage. There's some... Let's get out of here, quickly! Some more uh, rats. Jack's kind of freaking out because he's been he's in the sewers. I never come here. She would still be alive. I uh, know he's... Slim Flamin. What have I done? Freaking out because we keep looking at creepy stuff. She, she was just a child. Specifically about Ramona. Oh, let's not linger here, Jack. I'm not trying she's to. Me. I can feel her. So apparently Jack thinks that she's following him. Let's get out of the sewer so he stops freaking out. Come here. On the Bravo, alternate. Jack. Congratulations on your new promotion to Innsmouth's enemy number one. Shut your trap, Maggie. You're not a factory inspector. Who do you work for? Okay, detective. I'll come clean. I'm an undercover agent for the United States Treasury Department. We've been working closely with the FBI on a secret investigation of Insmith. I'm the inside man. Really? What have you been able to find out? The Insmith look, Jack. It's at the heart of the problems in this town. More than half the population must be infected by now. The spreading of that contagion, or whatever the hell you want to call it, is the key. I just know it. This is all very interesting, fellas, but we gotta get out of Innsmouth with Ruth. She's waiting for us at some old fishing cannery, just past the station to Rowley. Listen, Jack, there are some agents watching the road not far past that spot. If you can make it there, you'll be safely picked up. I need you to do something for me. You can do it while I get this thing started. When they arrested me, they took a brooch I was carrying. It belonged to Ruth. It carries her picture inside. I won't leave it behind. Are you crazy? We don't have time for this. They'll be holding it in the jail office safe. I don't know the combination. I overheard Ropes talking to one of the other guards. He said something about an important date, and someone called Captain Obed Marsh. If you want to get in through the back door, just knock, and I'll open it for you. Okay. So the back door he was talking about. Some bullets here. Under the stairs. A big old box of bullets. Included in that are bullets for some guns we don't have yet. Rifle cartridges and Tommy gun magazine. And health kit, which we need more of. Let's talk to Mackie some more. The government must have known about Innsmouth for a long time. Why the sudden interest? A few years back, some new hotshot was made head of the FBI. His name's Hoover. He's on a personal mission to wipe crime from this country. He's a good agent. Just don't tell him any jokes. Hmm. He's referencing J. Edgar Hoover there. Up here. It's blocked. I can't go that way. Nothing much up here. But this is what he was talking about. This door. The back door. If we go at it, he will shut it behind us. You've got guts, Jack. You'd have made a good agent. It won't budge. So basically, that's the only way out. And then this is the way to the street, I guess. Got anything to say, Burnham? I don't know the combination to the safe. I reckon on it being a date. Something to do with that Captain Obed Marsh. Really beat us over the head with that game. Okay. Okay, so uh, Burnham told us to go get the thing. And uh, he was talking about the 18... 46 diary you found in there. Um, I'll just tell you right now, that's the combination to the safe. A 
importance to Obed Marsh. So I gotta go back in here and get that. Just be a little careful. Some guys here. You could probably get this guy with the uh, crowbar if you were careful, but uh, I'm not gonna risk things. You oh, there. except I didn't have any bullets in my gun. Hey. <laughs> That was pretty funny. <laughs> so speaking so of rats in the walls, tasty. Here. tasty. Gross. Let's give this rat to him. That we Look found in the me. sewer. The rats are dead. There are no rats in the walls. Jesus, no! Stop it, you crazy bastard! No, he's it's dead. It's unlocked. The wretched creature had no other possessions. And he vanishes. I doubt there was a shred of sanity left in the pitiful creature. That's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to pick this thing up. The lunatic dropped a piece of paper. That was a rather delayed game. Alright. So let's make sure our guns are reloaded. So I don't have a... A repeat instance. Let's shut this door here. Go upstairs. Sometimes they will be talking out here. But we probably just have to wait for them to meet up. I think they're coming. I don't think you can kind of snipe them from there. Shotgun's not good at that sort of thing, anyway. Alright, so what we want to do is we want to push this out of the way. And if we came to this before, or like tried to open it here... The cabinet is still in the way. If we tried to open it before, he would just say that's not important right now. And if you don't push it, like, all the way out of the way, he will say that, even if it looks like it's clear. It's another safe puzzle. This one's a bit more obvious. Since you don't actually have to get, you know, uh, an exact date. That was pretty great looking. This must be Ruth's brooch. And look at this thing. This thing's pretty crazy looking. Odd whitish color and the decoration exquisite. That that sort of thing is had gone into in far more detail in the actual story. Um, the Innsmouth, uh, Maybe I'm seeing someone. There's no chance of that. Marsh has got men watching all roads out of Innsmouth. Okay. Stop! Oops. Uh, what I was saying is, the jewelry of Innsmouth had a special significance in the story. And, uh, was actually a major plot point for, I guess, the climax. So. Nope. Stop where you are. There's another guy. Die. You, you coming? Come here. Yes, he is. You can actually, like, Door shut. Still nothing. Stay alert. He can't have gone that far. Damn! He's gone! And since I can't get through, he just kind of slips out. It's like, oh, he doesn't exist anymore. Whatever. Oh, that guy doesn't seem to exist anymore. So we're done over here. Just need to go back to the uh, thing, but I actually wanted to go exploring a little bit. Also, kind of a lucky shot. Usually, doesn't instant kill at that range. Outsider, stop! That other guy didn't see me. It's pretty funny. Hey, 
Shotgun bullets I'm not too uh, worried about. They're not, super... It there, They're not super valuable. What? really dangerous. So as you can see, there's more more dudes over there. Um, this is what they were talking about. There's not much use in killing the guys. This is what I was trying to Come demonstrate. Here, outsider. Die, outsider. Come here. Oops. Get up. Die, outsider. Serpentine a little bit. It Got makes it much harder for them to hit you. Not that they Die, hit outsider. very accurately anyway. Come here. But anything, you know, anything to help. Because the guns are actually pretty deadly, as you might have seen from the my little failure at the beginning. Did he uh, bugger on? No. Hi. Stop. This is really just a waste of bullets, but uh, I don't really care. Not at this point, anyway. How many bullets do I have left? Five? Yeah, that's plenty. I'll be finding more anyway later. This part of the game is pretty easy, honestly. So, we're all done. I'm just gonna ignore that guy. He can't come over here anyway because the elder sign. 